Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart here with another guitar tip, and today I'm going to show you a different kind of bar chord. Now this is similar to the bar chord that I showed you before, but this one might be a little bit easier to play. Maybe it'll be a little bit harder to play, but either way you will be able to play it if you follow these tips and keep practicing. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Alright, so for this type of bar chord, we're only going to use two fingers, and this is a chord that you can play all the way up the neck. So what we're basically going to do is, if you know how to play a regular A chord, which for that you would normally use these three fingers, and you would scrunch them all in on the second fret, um, on your D string, your G string, and your B string, and you would play the open A and the open E, and that's your A chord. So we're going to make that same chord shape, but we're only going to use two fingers, and we're not going to play an A. Let's, for example, play a B chord. So, excuse me giving you the bird, I'm not trying to. You're not going to be playing with your middle finger, but there's really nothing else you can do with it. So I'm going to tuck it back here just to show you what I'm doing with my index finger and my ring finger. But you wouldn't normally want to play like this, probably, because it'll be very awkward trying to make other changes. So when you play it, you'll, you'll just keep your middle finger out there. But for the sake of decency, I'm going to tuck it back here so you can see just what I'm doing with these fingers. Now again, you're not going to play the low E string. You're going to make a bar across those five top strings with this finger, with your index finger. So again, if you haven't seen my videos on tips for playing a bar chord easily, then just a quick teaser. Remember, you want to be playing with this part of your finger, the side of your finger, not the pad. And you want to arc your wrist a little bit and push back a little bit, and that'll help you create that good bar. So for more of those tips, you can watch my other video. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a second bar, a shorter bar, with your ring finger. And with your ring finger, you're going to press that ring finger on three strings. You're going to be pressing the ring finger on the fourth fret of your D string right here and your G string and your B string at the fourth fret and it's going to go straight across and that is going to be your B chord. Now you can also do a C chord like that or a C sharp, a D flat or a D, or an E flat, or an E, or an F, and right up the neck. Now this one is tricky because you've got to learn how to press that ring finger and get basically the pad of your ring finger across three strings, and only three strings. And, and I say only three strings, and of course I just played the low E by mistake, so see, it can happen, it's okay if it happens, we're just going to keep moving on, and you'll keep moving on when you're practicing. So what you do is you're going to want to exercise this finger and just practice just laying this finger across those three strings. And you can do it on any position of the neck, whatever is easiest. And wherever it's easiest for you to do it, maybe it's easiest at the 12th fret, maybe at the 9th fret, maybe at the, I don't know, the 6th fret or something, maybe at the 4th fret for you. Whatever it is, just keep practicing it, keep, keep trying it, just that finger. And trust me, within a few days, it's going to get easier. Within a couple weeks, it's going to get easier still. So don't expect to just sit down and all of a sudden, you can do it. But this is an important shape for a few reasons.